Hey guys, I'm Chloe. And I'm Zoe. And we are your podcast hosts. And welcome back to this week's episode of the Ivy Leaf podcast. Today we're recapping Term 1 and we had a chat with our quirky principal, Mr Bryce. So let's cut to that now. So now we're here with Mr Bryce. Um, and so we have a few questions about with a recap for Term 1. So what's been your favourite standout moment from Term 1? Um, my favourite was probably day one, having all students back into Quacky Campus. It's been a really difficult two years around COVID and I know we're impacted a little bit at the moment across Brisbane and right across the Brisbane community, uh, but it was about having the energy back into uh, the building after a really difficult uh, 2021. Yeah. And then just some tips on relaxing for the students or what are your plans for the holidays? Uh, I'm, I'm taking a week's long service leave next week. Uh, I've had that planned for a while. Uh, last year I finished off a master's degree after three years. So, and you know, a busy 2020 and 2021 running a school with COVID. Uh, so I wanted to take a week out just to spend a bit of time with my family. So I'm heading to the Sunshine Coast for the week. Uh, plan to get a bit of water, sun, and a bit of relaxation, a bit of reading. Um, I've got a couple of books that I want to finish off so and then head in for the remainder of the two weeks holidays a little bit of work I've got to do back at school but then also just doing some stuff around the house will be really nice. Yeah, nice. Perfect. That sounds great. And so after that what are you excited about for term two? Uh, I'm really fingers crossed everything crossed that we can move uh, through our current COVID uh, normal situation and actually get to having uh, everything back to normal at Quacky. And what I mean by being back to normal, just being engaged at, at Quacky and our wonderful events that we have. And they're, they're enriching for our students and staff and our community. And I really want to get back to this year. So I've got everything crossed the term two, we can you know move through the year and have normal. Yes, and especially to have investiture as yes. well. Yeah, we've, we've pushed a number of, thing, a number of um, events out so that we can see that we can run them normal. Anzac ceremony, which is a really important um, day for um, our Anzacs um, and our school community. Our leadership ceremony with investiture is really, really important. So looking forward to those. And then as we move into for our Year 12s, as you showcase events that start to flow through the year as well, and I'm excited to see those. And then reflecting on this term, is there a teacher that you wanted to give a special shout out to? Uh, last week, uh, oh, two weeks ago, I put out that um, Miss Casey is retiring. Um, I've known that for a little while, her timing, and that's sad for me. Um, Miss Casey has been a, a wonderful um, school leader in our school community now for 10 years. Um, she's been beside me in, in everything that we do as a school community, way back from when the school sat here with um, you know half capacity to now being a, a school that's um, full to the brim. <laughs> and as I put in my announcement, Miss Casey keeps telling me there's not a classroom spare um, as she does the timetable. So. Um, she's a wonderful individual, a wonderful person that has a big heart, that cares about everyone. Um, so that aligns beautifully uh, to me and what my beliefs are um, around us as school leaders, that each student is individual, um, each staff member is individual and we care for our whole community. So um, we're going to dearly miss Miss Casey. Um, I am every day, the laughs, my coffee buddy every day. She is my coffee buddy, heading and getting a coffee together. Um, so I'm going to really miss her, and but she's um, really excited for her next journey off into retirement, doing quite a bit of travel, um, some secret stuff. She's got a caravan on the way, so she's going to do the grey nomad um, stuff. So that'll be nice for her and her husband, um, and spending time with her family, with with her her grandson and and her boys as well. So um, a big shout out to Miss Casey. She's a, she's a wonderful individual, a beautiful person, and I wish her the best into retirement. And how have you seen all the cohorts grow throughout Term 1? Um, in typical quacky fashion, um, I love seeing our culture just across all of our cohorts. Um, they come too quacky with some really um, mixed and, and varied uh, school experiences from their previous schools. So as a selective entry state high school, that's very unique, that transition from year nine to 10. Um, what I always see and what I'm always not surprised with, but I'm always really appreciative of, is our students really connecting from our 12s, 11s and 10s 
that remains the same this year. It's been pretty, you know, up and down with delay of school, uh, camps being pushed out, op other opportunities for, you know, music programs, theatre programs that cross curricular opportunities. We haven't had the, the wonderful opportunities to do that. But a big shout out to all students. They just remain connected. They work together, appreciate each other for e each individual that they are and I just love it. Um, that's why I love Quacky, that's why I love being principal at Quacky is seeing that across our community. And just as a little bit of a wrap up, what's your favourite part of being principal at Quacky? Being principal. Um, that's for me leading a wonderful school community. Um, it's been a passion of mine um, ever since I left school um, around education and the importance of education. I didn't have an easy journey through my educational journey. Um, many may not know, some do know I'm dyslexic, so that's, that was a real challenge for me in education. Um, I faced many barriers in, in my educational journey um, and my passion was always to work with students um, to make sure that we remove those barriers for each individual. So mine is being principal, being able to work with a wonderful uh, teaching team and, and non-teaching team at Quacky, uh, to be amongst students feel their energy and passion each day to come in for not only their learning journey here but lifelong learning. Uh, it's so important to me as I've just previously said I've just finished my masters. Um, it's, it's always difficult for me to study because of just my dyslexia but it just makes me more determined um, those barriers and as I say to many students it's just a speed bump it slows you down a little bit but we keep moving through, but it makes us more determined and more hungry to learn and, and gain knowledge and, and skills. So that's my favourite part. I love seeing young people engaging in, in learning each and every day and watching them transition into that next phase of their life um, with, a, with a smile on their face and a joy of, of learning. Um, and that's, what, that's what's so special for me as Principal of Quacky. Perfect. Thank you so much and thank you for coming on the podcast. And we hope that you have a good, restful week. Good. I've heard so many things about this little podcast. <laughs> good things? Yeah, wonderful okay, things. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm, I just wanted to say congratulations. I, I love, you know, a big part of mine is my principal blogs, just sharing with the community the wonderful things that, that students do each and every day. And when Jess um, shared with me that you were doing this and I saw the first one, I, um, as the three of you, I just wanted to say congratulations. I love it. I think it's really important that, that we're engaging with our inner school community and our broader school community. And it gives me a laugh every time I see them. Dempsey's Thank fun fact. <laughs> yeah, de yes, particularly de Dempsey. I'm just waiting for her to pop up behind the lounge there. I'm sure she's coming up shortly. The moment she's just behind the sound desk at the moment, but I'm sure she'll appear behind there shortly. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it and enjoy watching it um, every time I see your, your podcast. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Bryce, for coming on the podcast. And Chloe, what are you looking forward to on your holidays? Um, well, in the holidays, I'm going camping, which I think will be really nice to just relax and turn off from social media and the internet because there's no servers. So yeah, that'll be really good. What about you? Um, I'm going to Sydney for a dance convention and to see some of my friends. So I'm really excited to move my body a little bit and yeah, take a break from all the school stress. Yes, and I think it's really important to have a balanced holiday. A really good app to download on your phone, it's like the Resilience Project app and you can log like how you're feeling each day or what you're grateful for and different things like that. So it's almost like if you don't want to journal or that's too much effort, you can just open your phone and type in a little note. Perfect. And now it's time for your favourite segment of the podcast, Dempsey's Fun Fact. Hey everyone! Hey everyone, it's me Dempsey and I'm here with another fun fact today because facts are fun. My fun fact today is that the top three translated Wikipedia pages are Jesus, Obama, and Corbin Blue from High School Musical. <laughs> Thanks, Dempsey. The more you know. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this week's episode of the I Believe podcast. Make sure you have a nice and balanced holidays and comment down below what you're getting up to. Bye. This comes out next week, so you're already on holiday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'll be, like, chilling on the beach. <laughs> Watching yourself. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Bye. That was gorgeous. That was perfect.